read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's OK, then. Armies can't fight without food. Spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? A bunch of these guys. Ask around. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. OK. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Did you see Evelyn last night? No, I was at home, writing. Do you want to get dragged into this, McCaffrey? Do you want us to get interested in you? She hung out with this powder puff, James Tiernan. They haunted the public library together. How well do you know James Tiernan? I know he works some kind of plebeian job at Rawlings Bowling Alley. Rawlings? I know that place, corner of 9th and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? What did you make of McCaffrey? There'll come a day, and it's coming very soon. We'll run him and the rest of his pinko buddies out of Los Angeles. Amanda's a suspect. do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins. Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. 
She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She wasn't always such a loner. Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. The stupid thing about her was... Exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. Rollins bowling alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. We got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her staying here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Rusty, two on your usual lane? I'm Detective Feltz. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? Ah, uh, this is business. You got a guy who works here by the name of Tierney? Sure we do. He's a pin setter. Clears the jams, works the gutters. Go right in. He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. <laughs> He's a nice boy. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. Tiernan, LAPD! What are you waiting? 
mini fort. Get after it. You might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. These are flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast-living individual with money to burn. Or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel virile. Another runner. At least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure you've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to lamb it. You know, your theories are not here by any means. This isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's what the run in the wall and saves us all the trouble. over, kid. Belts, you gotta get me closer. Whoa, looks like we're going into the tunnels. God damn it, he'll kill himself. All right, as long as he doesn't kill us, I'm okay with it. This kid's crazy! He's gonna kill us! Let's bring this kid crashing back down to Earth. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! Don't catch that train, fellas! You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? You can drive. And where exactly are we going? 